so now let us solve the next problem so if you observe the next problem also this is also in the form of a cos theta plus b sin theta is equal to c so that means dividing both sides by root of a square plus b square so this can be put in the form of sin of a plus, a plus r minus b or sin of alpha plus r minus beta so that this problem can be solved so this is the strategy has to be followed to solve this problem so first let us consider here given root 3 sin theta minus cos theta equals to root 2 dividing both sides both sides by root of root 3 square and plus minus 1 square this is 3 plus 1 which equal to root 4 you know root 4 is equal to 2 am I correct so now we can write sin theta times root 3 by 2 and minus cos theta times 1 by 2 equals to root 2 by 2 here root 3 by 2 is equivalent to the cosine of 30 degrees in the similar manner the 1 by 2 is equivalent to sine of 30 degrees so this can be written sin theta and next cos of 30 pi by 6 minus cos theta and sin of pi by 6 whereas root 2 by 2 can be written as 1 by root 2 so this can be written 1 by root 2 now just observe the left hand side of this one this equation this is in the form of sin a cos b minus cos a sin b so that is nothing but sin of a minus b so this can be written sin of theta minus pi by 6 equals to 1 by root 2 now as it is being put in the form of sin theta is equal to k so easily we can solve it so let us solve sin of theta minus pi by 6 equals to 1 by root 2 so here the 1 by root 2 is equivalent to sin of 45 degrees so that means we can write sin of pi by 4 here easily we can find out the principal value of this equation that is alpha is equal to principal value or principal solution is pi by 4 now the general solution is theta minus pi by 6 equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n alpha now replacing alpha value here so now theta minus pi by 6 equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n multiplied by pi by 4 so here what we have to find out here we are required to find out the theta value so that is the general solution of the give, given e e trigonometric equation so that means now transpose minus pi by 6 that side so that we get the value of theta so therefore here theta equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n pi by 4 plus pi by 6 where n belongs to integers j so this is the solution so let us solve another problem so now solve root 2 times sin x plus cos x is equal to root 3 so now multiply throughout with root 2 you get root 2 sin x plus root 2 cos x is equal to root 3 now it is in the form of a sin x plus b cos x is equal to c so what the procedure what we have adopted the same method has to be adopted for this problem only only simple here first of all we have to multiply 
sin x plus cos x with root 2. Then after that divide both sides by root of a square plus b square so that this problem can be solved. So let us solve this problem. Here solution given okay, root 2 times sin x plus cos x equal to root 3. Now this can be written root 2 sin x plus root 2 cos x equals to root 3, root 3 itself only. Now divide both sides by root of root 2 square plus root 2 square this equal to 2 plus 2 this equals to root 4 equals to 2. Now having been divided both sides by 2 we get like this sin x times root 2 by 2 plus cos x here root 2 by 2 equals to root 3 by 2. Now here root 2 by 2 already in the previous problems we have solved that one. Root 2 by 2 can be written in the form of 1 by root 2. So sin x into 1 by root 2 plus cos x into 1 by root 2 equals to root 3 by 2. Correct. Now this 1 by root 2 is nothing but cos 45. Here 1 by root 2 is replaced by sin 45 because sin 45 and cos 45 both equal to 1 by root 2 itself only both have the same value. So that means here 1 by root 2 is replaced by cos 45 degrees whereas here the 1 by root 2 is replaced by that is sin 45 degrees. 45 degrees means pi by 4 in equivalent in radians. So now we can write sin x cos pi by 4 that means cos 45 plus cos x into sin 45 is equal to root 3 by 2. Here this one is in the form of sin of a plus b, sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. So sin of we can write x plus pi by 4 equals to root 3 by 2. So which equals to whose value of sin equals to root 3 by 2. So that is nothing but sin 60 degrees. So we can write this is sin of pi by 3. Now easily we can write principal value, its principal value. So alpha is equal to principal value or principal solution pi by 3. Now general solution is x plus pi by 4 equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n alpha. Now alpha is replaced by pi by 3 so that we get n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n that is pi by 3. Now therefore x equals to n pi plus minus 1 to the power of n pi by 3 minus pi by 4 where n belongs to z. So this is the solution. So in this way this problem can be solved.